All right, guys. So today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new JLab Go Air Pop. Now this is a prime example of a company pretty much realizing that their demographic is out to get the most for their money. They, they don't want to spend a whole lot of money, so you can't really compare these to higher end models. But they do want you to compare these to other models in this similar price range because JLab also sent out this little uh, chart comparing these to Skull Candy Doms, which are a $25 pair of true wireless earbuds that you can see in this comparison actually lack some of the features that the Go Air Pop has. But the Go Air Pop comes in retailing for only $20, so we do need to check out what all features they are actually giving you for this price. Uh, we need to see what all comes inside the box, talk about the sound, and see if it is actually worth that $20 price tag. Now to start with, these are available in five different colors. I think that's where the name Pop comes from. They want something that stands out that's a little different, which is a little odd considering they sent me this lilac or light purple looking model. Uh, it is available in black. Uh, there's a teal, a gray, and then a red version. I think the lilac purple is the lightest color that they have. There's no white version here. Um, so you can see that it just has this slight purple accent to the one that I have. Now in typical JLab fashion as well, uh, the case also has a built-in charging cable. Now I'm a huge fan of this. I know this is like a love or hate thing for a lot of people because I've seen a lot of the comments. Uh, a lot of people think that once the cable gets messed up, uh, you're kind of screwed with the case. And, and in most cases you would be. They do have a warranty to kind of combat this a little bit. So for you guys that do wish that this had a removable cable, uh, sadly that's not an option here. Also there's no Qi wireless charging on this case which again in this price range is kind of to be expected. But speaking of the battery life, this is an area I was actually surprised at how much battery life they give you on this pair because on the earbuds themselves, you're going to get eight hours where with this little charging case, you're going to get 32 hours total. And I think when people are looking for a pair like this, like a pair to use at the gym or to use at work or just kind of here and there a little bit, uh, that battery life is going to be fine for most people. Now, another thing that JLab also decided to bring over to this pair is their three built-in EQ options on their earbuds. This is something they've been doing for a while now. They have their JLab signature sound. Uh, they also have a balanced mode and a bass boost mode. And I do wanna say that flipping between the three different options here isn't going to be anything mind blowing. Uh, it's not going to be a noticeable difference between one or the other. So I personally just prefer to leave it in JLab signature sound. But we'll talk about that once we talk about the sound on these. Now these also use a dual connect feature, so if you're looking to use your earbuds one at a time, uh, it does pair to each one individually, and you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right by themselves. Now as far as any kind of protection using these outdoors, uh, surprisingly they actually have an IP55 rating, which means on top of having uh, water protection against splashes and rain and sweat and things like that, you also have dust protection. So if you drop it on the ground or if you're in an area where dust is flying around, uh, this is one of those things you don't have to worry about. And that's actually nice because I think a lot of people are going to look to buy a pair like this uh, to use outdoors or use in the gym or in other areas where they may not want to use their more expensive pair of earbuds. Now moving over to looking at the actual case and the earbuds themselves, um, I think the case on this is very tiny, it's very compact. Uh, I do like the very subtle matte finish to it. Uh, there's nothing that makes these really stand out or uh, try to draw a lot of attention. In fact, you can see JLab's branding on the top lid of the case. You can see the charging cable that's connected. And then up front you have a single indicator light. That way you can kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. Now, once you open up the lid and you see the earbuds, uh, the first thing you're gonna notice is it does resemble a lot of the other JLab products on the market. Um, the, the thing about this pair is it is whatever the color that you're using. In fact, the ear tips that come with these also match the earbuds themselves. Uh, and the ear tips they've included is your normal small, medium, and large silicone ear tips. Now, as far as the controls on the earbuds, these do use touch controls. And I'm happy to say that they give you control over everything. So on the earbuds themselves, you have your play, you have your pause, you have the ability to skip forward, go backwards, you have volume control, and you also have the ability, again, to switch it between those three different EQ modes. 
modes. And at $20, just being able to have all of the controls is very nice, but being able to switch between those EQ modes is just kind of a bonus. And I think they did a really good job trying to offer you a uh, pretty good value in these earbuds. Now, for you guys that do like to use your earbuds for phone calls, uh, the phone call quality is decent on this pair. Uh, I don't think it's anything that's gonna blow anybody away, but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test using the Go Air Pop, and I think overall it does a surprisingly good job of picking up my voice. Now, I do notice that it has a little bit of a muffled sound, so I do wish that there was a little bit more clarity in the high end that it picks up in the tones of my voice, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call publicly. So now let's talk about the sound, because the sound of these compared to the Skull Candy Doms, which again is another pair in that similar price range, is pretty much night and day. And the reason I say that is the JLab Go Air Pop actually has more punch in the low end. It is a warmer sounding earbud, and that's with switching it between the three different EQ options. Again, I don't feel like that really changes the sound too much. Uh, but this is a boomier pair of earbuds with a slightly warmer tint to it, uh, which means that the Skull Candy Doms I felt has a little bit more clarity to them. So they are a brighter sounding earbud where this is a warmer sounding earbud. So it kind of comes down to what you want. I think if you like that boomy sound or if you just like listening to mainstream pop or hip hop or most things that's geared towards having that little bit of boost in the low end, obviously the Go Air Pop is gonna stand out a little bit more. But if you listen to podcasts, uh, if you like watching TV shows, and you like things that are a little bit more vocal driven, I would probably recommend the Skull Candy Doms over the Go Air Pop. But the big kicker here is all of the other features and the battery life and everything that you're getting in this price range. The Go Air Pop is gonna give you a lot more battery life. Uh, you do have those three different EQ options, which are nice. I am a huge fan of having the charging cable uh, actually connected to the case. I think it's so much more convenient that I don't have to keep up with another cable. Um, yes, obviously it would be even more convenient if I could drop this on a wireless charger, but again, this is $20 and I do know where to curb my expectations. I think in this pair, you're getting a lot for your money. If you are shopping with your pocketbook or your wallet and you're a little bit tight on funds and you don't wanna spend a whole lot, or you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money on a product that you're worried your kid may lose, or you may drop in something at the gym or you know you just don't want to damage yourself i think that's where this pair comes in uh, jlab knows their market they've sold a ton of earbuds just based off value alone and they're doing it again with the go air pop um, i like the look i like the subtleness to it i don't like the purple but they do have other options out there but guys that's my video on the brand new jlab go air pop Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.